Hey everybody, this is Geo Joe back with another demo tutorial video. For today's video, I want to go over the backup feature within the GeoVision VMS software and the GeoVision GVAI Guard software. Backup is a way that you can backup video while still being able to play back the video, fully control and zoom on your camera views. Before I get into today's video, if you find the content on this channel useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and also giving my video a thumbs up. It really helps with the exposure of the channel. So again, for the video today, I do wanna go over the backup feature and how it can be useful because you do have the ability to have full control over the video when you play it back. And there is a way that you can save a copy of the GeoVision player so you can play that video file on any PC that has the folder. So let's jump in. So in order to back up video, you will first want to go up to your view log up in the top right hand corner, which looks like a film strip icon. And if you'd like, you can create a layout. Um, to do that, you can go into the toolbar and then content list. And you'll see the layout section over here on the left. If you don't have a layout created that you would like to use, you can just create one by hitting add, add layout, give it a name, select a size of a layout that you'd like and hit okay. And then once you do that, you would want to expand your camera section and then drag and drop in the cameras that you're interested in backing up. Now for today's video, I actually have a quad view here that will work just fine. So what I'm going to do is on my timeline here, I know, for example, I'd like to back up something maybe in the middle of the day. Maybe there is an event that happened and I want to see all of that footage and get it backed up so I can give it to someone else to review. So what I can do on the timeline here is I can just hover over and locate the time frame that I'm interested in. Once I click on it, it will sync up all cameras that got recording at that time. And then you can put your mouse at the beginning of that time frame that you want to save, right click, hold and drag. And you'll notice that once you do that, it will put a blue highlight there on your timeline. And when you're done highlighting your time frame, you can release your right click and you'll get a menu that comes up. Now you can then hit backup and it will pop up first a screen right here and then there'll be another screen behind it. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do on both of these screens. So on this screen, it's already by default selected the time frame that you are interested in. If you want to decrease that time frame or increase it, you can manually click in these fields and then type in your numbers. And then the other thing that you may want to do is select or unselect the cameras that you're interested in. So for example, on this demo video, I'm only gonna back up cameras one, two, and three. I'm not interested in cameras four and five, so I'm just going to uncheck them. And just another note here, if you're only interested in backing up video files and no audio, if your camera has a microphone in it, for example, you could change that right here and just select video event, and then it would only back up the video files. Once you do that, you can then hit okay. And the other thing that you need to tell the system is where you want to save the video. So most people are going to want to point it to say the desktop or maybe a thumb drive um, or somewhere like a network attached storage. So you can click right here using hard disk and then click the little ellipses button right here and then just navigate within windows. And I'm just gonna put this one on our desktop, hit okay. You can name the folder if you want. I'll just name this one demo clip one. And then by default now, it's already checked where it says include player. This is going to include a copy of the GeoVision player. And then I'm going to show you how to actually play back the video files and how you can have full control over the video here in just a moment. So once you do this, you then hit okay, and then you will see your file start to back up. This may take a minute, just depending on how long your video file is, but once it is done, you'll see backup items are stored at, and then it will give the location. You can hit okay, this will go away. You can then go up to the power button and minimize your software. Don't hit exit, just hit minimize. And then you will have your backup clip right here on the desktop. It'll say demo clip or whatever you named it. Now, when you open up this folder, you will notice that there are a lot of files in here but really the only file that you're interested in is the one called Easy View Log. Just remember that it's easy, so all you have to do is look for Easy View Log, double click on it, and then it will execute the GeoVision player. 
You can full screen this. We have a quad view right here. Two cameras that uh, had video recording at that moment are listed. So you can then drag those in. And then you'll notice here on our timeline, it does give us a tick mark for that moment in time where the video was recorded. If you want, you can scroll up on your scroll wheel and it will break you down into a minute view of the hour. You can click on a particular moment in time and then it would play your video clips synced, back, synced up together. Now, if you'd like, you can double click on a camera. It'll bring it up full screen and full resolution for you. And then if you'd like to zoom, you can just scroll up with the scroll wheel on your mouse. And you can click the little green box here to drag and look around at your scene. Okay, so this is the advantage of utilizing the GeoVision backup feature because it gives you the full control of your video. If you try to do the Save as ABI feature, it's going to play it in a Windows media player or a generic media player, and you will not have the ability to full screen a camera or zoom because Windows media doesn't have that capability. So this has been a demo tutorial on how to utilize the backup feature within the GeoVision VMS or AI Guard software. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.